the 2024 property values are out for every single home in British Columbia. Here are five things you need to know. First, property values didn't change that much for most people in this province. Here is a chart. In the biggest cities, they stayed pretty stable, especially when you consider the big gains during the previous two years, when interest rates were low and selling prices surged. Second, the places where values surged most by percentage were actually in some of BC's smallest communities. Zabalos, Templar Ridge, Haida Gwaii. These are places that are hard to get to and often have boom or bust cycles. But last year at least, some very small communities had a bit of a boom. Third, life continues to be good if you're Chip Wilson. The Lululemon founder continued to have the most expensive property in the province, with his Point Grey Road waterfront mansion now valued at $82 million. And he's in good company, or at least rich company, because 18 other homes on Point Grey Road made the list of the 100 most valuable homes in the province. In fact, more than three quarters of the top 100 list were in five very specific areas in Metro Vancouver, from West Vancouver to Shaughnessy. And finally, you might think your yearly property assessments have an impact on your property taxes, but they really don't. In reality, how much your taxes go up or down depends on whether your city council passed a budget with higher taxes, and whether the value of your home went up or down compared to all your neighbors. Which means that for most people in this province this year, property value notices are more a case of bragging rights. Or, if you're concerned about affordability, perhaps lamentation.